गुड इवनिंग यूर वॉचिंग द न्यूज विद मी एम दीपावली हाजरा होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह defended the citizenship amendment bill 2019 in parliament saying it does not name the muslim community even once he said minorities in the theocratic nations neighboring india were persecuted and therefore the bill was necessitated he also announced that manipur will be exempted from the citizenship bill Rising in protest against the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019, the Congress said that the bill is against the minorities and an attempt to divide India along religious lines. The TMC said it violates Article 14 of the Constitution that guarantees people equality before the law, irrespective of religion. In a caustic attack, Asaduddin Owaisi compared Amit Shah to Hitler. Shiv Sena also opposed the bill, saying it creates an invisible partition between Hindus and Muslims. JNU students took out a protest march to Rashtrapati Bhavan to seek the president's intervention in the hostel fee hike matter. JNU students were lathi charged when they tried to jump across barricades in a cordoned off area. Entry and exit gates to three metro stations that is the Udyog Bhavan, Lok Kalyan Marg and Central Secretariat are closed in view of the protests. Once again students have been protesting against the fee hike for over a month. The BJP has won 6 seats in the Karnataka bypolls comfortably sailing through a crucial survival test. Chief Minister Yadurappa said that the BJP will provide a pro people and stable government without any fear. Even when the BJP was only leading the race, the Congress conceded defeat. DK Shivkumar admitted the people had accepted the defectors. Siddaramaiah meanwhile resigned as the Congress Legislative Party leader and as the leader of the opposition, Dinesh Gundurao resigned as the state Congress president. Addressing a rally in Jharkhand, Prime Minister Modi welcomed the Karnataka verdict as BJP decisively led in majority of the seats in the morning. Prime Minister Modi said that when people want a stable government, they trust the BJP. He added that the Congress and the JDS were taught a lesson for trying to steal the people's mandate of 2018 when the BJP had emerged as the single largest party in the Karnataka Assembly elections. New Zealand's White Island volcano erupted suddenly on Monday while at least 100 tourists were on the island some were even walking on the crater PM Jacinda Ardern held an emergency briefing after the incident for now at least one person has died and emergency services are trying to get people back from the island The World Anti-Doping Agency has handed Russia a four-year ban from all major global sporting events including the upcoming Tokyo Olympics earlier last month WADA investigators and the International Olympic Committee had stated that the Russian authorities tampered with a Moscow laboratory database in order to hide several potential doping cases and tried to shift the blame onto the whistleblowers. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.